Hey guys, so today I'm going to update to you. I am 10 months post and I'm really excited to share with you where I'm at on this hair journey. So let's get a little bit technical. I last had my texturizer in April of 2013. So this April will make it two years since I've had any chemicals as it pertains to chemical treatments in my hair. So this is one year and 10 months post since I have texturized my hair and I'm really happy that it has been that long but I can't wait to progress further. So basically where I'm at now, I see growth, I'm happy with my hair. Of course, as you know, I just like long hair, that's how I've always been and this whole experience of cutting my hair has really been a big experience but yeah, I, I really look forward to having long flowing, natural, beautiful, kinky hair and just experimenting with different styles and having that length there to just, you know, I, that's just my thing. I like long hair and I've learned how much I love long hair along the way ever since I big chopped. But every disappointment is a blessing and every experience is always going to help someone. So that's the only thing, the length, but it's growing. I'm getting my length and I'm really glad for it. Um, where I'm at now with my hair journey, I, I'm always, I find myself experimenting and I really feel because I went natural so late in my life, I believe, because I just really think that I should have done this sooner. And even so, I don't even think I should have um, relaxed at all. But, you know, we all learn as we grow. And I've definitely, I know I've helped some people along the way. Um... I feel like I've gone natural so late in life so it's like every wash day is almost like an experiment or let me try this or let me try that and it's like it's always exciting and it's always it always just feels brand new kind of thing I'm still learning and you know I don't even ever think a natural will ever stop learning but they'll definitely learn best practice and what works best for their hair but why I always experiment is just because I want the best things for my hair I want I want to be to have healthier options when it comes to my natural hair care. So I heard about the water only washing regimen and when I first heard about it I was like you can't be serious like this is crazy. But after a while I, it's just dawned on me that like the products I use over the years have definitely irritated my scalp. That's like number 1. So all, whatever chemicals are in those products, you know, the things that make it smell nice and all those other parabens and sulfates and drying elements like that, you guys know, like, that's why I increase the amount of times a week I wash my hair because my scalp was just constantly itching. And I do think it's down to the product. So I decided to try it after I'd done, I did research on it, like, apparently... Water only washing encourages the natural sebum that naturally comes from the scalp to moisturize the hair. Now, I'm going to modify it a little bit because I don't think I'm going to get to the stage of just washing my hair and not putting anything back inside of it. And also what I also found out is that because of the hard water in London, it may not work for me. Apparently it only works with softer water. So I may have to get like a shower filter or something or, but for now I'm just doing it without like with the so-called hard water, but hopefully it will work out. Um, I will update you along the way. Do some research on it if you're interested, but basically I've put all the products on hold and I've started using natural things in my hair. So just a quick picture of what I'm doing. Um, well, the water, the original water only washing regimen was that you wash your hair with water every day and then you would um, like kind of massage or scritch your scalp to like activate the sebum and then like distribute it throughout your hair. I haven't noticed any sebum at the moment and I haven't really been doing it the way that I have seen other people doing it. Um, so I've about three times a week, like every other day or every two days, I wash my hair with water and then I use an oil to when it comes to um like to put my hair in twists for air drying and with deep conditioning I've started like mixing natural things together like fruits and things like that um like banana and coconut and things like that and seeing where that will take me and just blending them together so I know it's a big change, but I've noticed that my hair is a lot less itchier. My scalp 
is a lot less itchier and I think that I can have peace of mind now so that's that's where I'm at now guys if you want to join me along the way please feel free I do just feel like it's a case of okay our hair is naturally dry we don't really know how to really look after it so we go out and buy all these products and it never ends there's always a new product coming out and like I'm so tired of like I'm not saying I'll never use products again but to be honest I'm just tired of all the reviews like doing reviews and then I'm like okay let me try this let me try like what's the point what's the point of me like continuously trying all these products like it gets so boring after a while I just want to be more a DIY now more of a mixtress <laughs> as they say and try something different out and see where it takes me um also like I washed my hair with apple cider vinegar just to get rid of the build-up so I would do that um, once a month but if it gets too much um, like every two weeks but I'm not sure about that yet because that is very acidic and that might dry out my hair so I'm just kind of experimenting with different things right now more so leaning to the natural side and just to see where that takes me because I'm truly I'm just tired of the itchy scalp and I'm tired of going giving my money to I've been giving my money to these people for years now and it's just like I want to start supporting black owned businesses and um you know giving my money back that way and if the business is you know a good business then that's what I'll be doing and I'll be doing that with buying more natural things there's one called Shea Butter Cottage that I got something from so I'll come back if it's any good and share it with you yes that's all I really have to say nothing really special nothing grand today my hair is just all throwed out I um, did my water only washing last night and this morning I twisted it up with coconut oil this morning when I woke up for work I just did two braids because my hair was really shrunken and I didn't really have time to like style it in any fancy way so I just did two braids to stretch it out a little bit and now my hair my hair is doing quite well it's fine I was just when I took it out of the braids I didn't really know what to do for this video so I just this is this style is like my go-to if like I'm lost and I don't know what to do with my hair I, it just pushes my head to the side I pat it down and it's all good so that's about it guys I can't wait for it to be um 12 months one year since like big chop time is going so fast but I just what I'm thinking now is I just want to normalize my hair type um normalize natural hair in general and empower women just to know that we were made beautifully by God and that God makes no mistakes definitely as well normalizing natural hair in the workplace because um not many people have natural hair in the workplace and actually well everyone has the black people have natural hair but it's a question of do they show it so I just want to normalize the way my hair looks and behaves at the workplace and just show that natural hair can grow natural hair can be beautiful and um, I did get told that I look like Lupita from one of my colleagues but um hmm well, we we're both we both have this, a similar look, but I, I can't really say that I look or I could remind someone of her, but I can't admit to looking like her. But she's beautiful and she's doing her thing. And it's just nice to see someone represented in the media. But how long will it last? And also, it should have been happening a long time ago and there should be a lot more like her out there representing. But hey, I'm not too big on what celebrities do because, you know, I don't idolize anyone so but I just thought I'll bring that up thank you so much for your support ladies I really appreciate you guys stay tuned for more fun hair videos and I would love to see where I will go with this whole water only washing because I would save a lot of money and you know all these do you know what even before I saw it on the internet my mum mentioned it to me and she was like one day she was just like I'm just gonna start washing my hair with water because she went natural as well 
Um, and I was like, what are you talking about? How is your hair going to be clean? And then later on, I asked her again and she was like, these products, they're very drying. Um, even the conditioners, they're all drying to my hair. And it's true because like we wash our hair with a drying shampoo or like a co-wash that is supposed to be moisturizing. But I think it's the product that feels soft on your hair. I don't think it's the actual, it's just all an illusion. That's just how I see it. Like I'm, I know that I've spoken about products on my channel before and I know that I've said that they're good and I don't take that back, but they were good for the time being. But now that I found something better, I can see my hair doing better. But it just makes sense because you think about it, your hair's naturally dry and you go and put something that's artificially moisturizing onto your hair that in turn is drying it out along the way. And I'm not saying that my hair was breaking off or it was like, but I just saw the difference and I saw the sense in it. So my mom mentioned it. My mom was just doing it. And at the end of the month, she would just use like a co-wash conditioner or like some kind of shampoo to wash out her hair. But it's true. Like it's true. And all these little ingredients and all these sulfates, I've noticed that I haven't gotten the best results when it comes to my hair. And I know I can get better results by being more on the natural side, if you know what I mean. And also my brother mentioned something about, because I was telling him that I was going natural and all of this, and he was like, all these products have chemicals in them, you know. And I was like, what are you talking about? They're not chemicals enough to alter the texture of my hair, are they? And of course they're not. But I just feel like all these, all these scents in, in all these products, like it's a chemical that is making the product smell so sweet. And I know the chemical is not so harming. So please don't feel any way. Like if you're enjoying some products and you like them, don't let, don't let this video make you feel any way about what you do. I'm just sharing what I am learning along the way and updating you on my individual hair journey. So I'm looking forward to see how it will go. Stay tuned guys. I'll be back soon. Bye.